Hello, this is Bob from ASV, and we're going to show you today how to do an install of an ASV lever on a Stasic. Starting with a 10 millimeter box end wrench, and then you will also need a 10 millimeter socket, um, and then you need some Allens. You're going to need starting with a two, a three, a four, and a five, and that'll give you everything you need here. And if you use a y, ASV Y handle tool, it's kind of nice because you can get multiple tools on there. First off, you're going to want to undo the battery, disconnect the battery from the bike just so that you don't accidentally have the bike take off on you while you're working on it. And then now. So first thing you want to do is get a 10 millimeter wrench and loosen this brake back bolt that clamps onto the cable so we can get some slack in the cable. First thing I recommend you do is you loosen the five millimeter Allen on the back of the perch so that you can rotate the lever to make it easier to access and install. Second thing you want to do is remove the four millimeter Allen from the top and make sure you hold your finger on the back because the little nut will want to fly out. You might lose it. So get the nut and the screw out and now the lever is going to come out and there's going to be a spring in there. Make sure you don't lose that spring. You will need this spring. That's super important. There's also a couple of little plastic washers. Those are not needed with the ASV, only the spring is. And then since we loosen the cable, it's very easy to get this out. And again, if you happen to damage this adjuster, ASV sells replacement adjusters for the Stasic Perch, and they're available on our website, or you can call customer service to get one of these if yours was damaged. Next up, you want to install the ASV lever into the cable barrel, as shown here, so that it's in there. And then we're going to install the spring that we took out of the stock lever. It fits into this little channel that has a hole, and it kind of, the straight arm goes in there, and it should sit like that. Now, this is the tricky part. You're going to install this lever into the perch, and you want this little arm to rest against the little indent that's on the back of the perch. And then also you want to string the cable through. So first we're going to string the cable through. And then we're going to bring it kind of back further and then kind of bring it in from the bottom like that. So the holes line up. And then next we're going to put the screw through like this. And then we're going to line up the nut on the bottom. And it kind of falls into a little hex shape down there. So we want to make sure that it's square. And then we get our four millimeter and we start tightening it until it tightens the nut down, like so. And then we want to make sure the cable is going through the adjuster and the adjuster lock nut, like so. And then we want to get rid of all the play. So we want to put the cable all the way in. And we do want the adjuster out a little bit. We don't want the adjuster all the way in. We want to have a little bit of adjustment out. Next up, we need to re-tighten the cable and the arm on the rear brake but we want to take the tension out. So you want to push it down and pull on that like so, and then get the wrench in and tighten the nut. And it's a little tricky and you might need some help with that. And make sure the nut is securely tightened so the cable doesn't slip inside the arm. So next up, after we tighten the nut on the cable and the arm and the back wheel, we want to spin the wheel to make sure it's spinning freely like that. And we want to test the brake and squeeze the brake and see that the brake kind of activates pretty quickly with just a little bit of movement. And that's the perfect setting. So next up, we want to get the perch positioned back into the correct place for the rider. So we want to leave about a quarter inch gap between the grip and the perch. And we want to angle it down a bit so it's in the same line as the rider's arms. And then we get our five millimeter from underneath and behind and we tighten the perch back down. Like that. Next up, we need to adjust the distance of the lever from the grip for the rider. The way to do that is you take your 10 millimeter and break this lock nut loose. And then you take a three millimeter and you can spin the set screw in there to come all the way out so it's flush right here, which would bring the lever as close as possible to the grip, depending on the rider's fingers. That's about as close as you want to get right there. And then you would just tighten this lock nut down and cinch it back down with the 10 millimeter. If you need more distance out, you would just do the opposite. You would just loosen this up, take your three, and let that screw stick out on the backside, and it'll make the lever out further from the grip. 
like that. Make sure that the factory reach adjustment is all the way out. Um, that's where the two millimeter comes in. Um, and you can even remove it if you want. Um, sometimes we just remove them when we do our installs and you can just take it all the way out and it won't hurt anything. Um, but just make sure that it's not bringing the lever in closer than you want to. And then this can just come out like that. And you don't even really need it because the ASV lever will adjust the full range that you need. And that's how you install an ASV lever on your station bike. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to call our customer service department at 714-861-1400. Or you can email us at info at or tech support at asvinventions.com. Thanks for watching this video.